Hello and welcome to another Portworks Lightboard session. My name is Ryan Walner, and today we're going to be talking about PX Backup. And so this is a new uh, product or service coming from Portworks, and we're going to talk about the general overview of what it is, how it's deployed into your Kubernetes infrastructure, and what you can do and accomplish with it. So let's get off started with how you install this. So Portworks Backup is installed into a Kubernetes cluster just like your Portworks Enterprise uh, daemon set is installed into Kubernetes today. Essentially, you have a spec file and you apply it to a management cluster and PX Backup is set up and accessed through that management cluster. So in the data center or in the cloud, you might have a management Kubernetes cluster where um, Portworks Central can be set up to give you a central management plane to manage the uh, monitoring and uh, visibility of every one of your Kubernetes and Portworks clusters. And PX Backup is installed and is managed in the same type of way, in the sense that Portworks Backup is a cross-cluster cross application such that you can set up the schedules and policies or backups uh, across your different Kubernetes clusters that are running Portworks. And PX Backup talks to etcd, so make sure that's available for some cluster state. So this management section here can be, you know, a, a small Kubernetes cluster uh, that's running PX Central for dashboarding and monitoring and connecting it with PX Backup so that you have a single pane of glass for all your Kubernetes clusters. Now, once PX Backup is set up, I mentioned you'll have access to user interface and what you can do with that is create backups and policies and schedules so before we get started with what a backup is we first need to understand what an application is so an application in a namespace may consist of uh, many different pods which is part of a deployment it may have a secret associated with it. It might have a PVC associated with it. And this, these pods may use the PVC, they may reference the secret, uh, they may have a, uh, a service, and that gives access to uh, the application across different namespaces in Kubernetes or from the outside world. And so we have to remember that you know, each one of these uh, types of things, multiple pods is a deployment or staple set, a service, a secret, a PVC, which connects to a PV that something like Portworx provides, is all part of the application, even though they are part of different objects within Kubernetes. Now, in order to create a backup, we can do uh, this at many different levels. So PX Backup allows you to backup the entire namespace, which is great for a blanket backup, meaning every application within this namespace, go ahead and take a backup of, the, of everything within it. And, and you know, we'll restore that entire namespace when, um, when we need to for recovery. The other way is to take an application view, which is what we're gonna talk about here and gather essentially all the objects and the data that are part of the application, which is basically an application plus data or a backup. So when you take that backup, you're gathering the application plus the data and shipping it off to object storage. And that entire thing is then treated as your backup. Now you can be more fine grained about things. You can just back up a volume, but um, for 
recovery of an application, this is definitely what's needed. Now for recovery, we can go ahead and instruct uh, Portworks to take those objects, which is in this case, all the objects and data and place them back into the namespace of the existing Kubernetes cluster. So we then instantiate everything in here. Uh, we'll get the secrets. We'll uh, get the service and the volume and Portworks will be able to understand that uh, it has a available snapshot um, backup that it can restore. So your application is recovered to the last known backup. Now this works really well uh, from a backup recovery standpoint for a single Kubernetes cluster and Portworks cluster. However, PX backup is multi-cloud. So if you have, uh, you know, applications in cloud, on-prem, VMware, Azure, you know, anything, you can connect PX backup to these uh, to these cloud endpoints or infrastructure endpoints. And you can have backup targets. So object storage is definitely your backup target, but this means S3, it means S3 compatible storage like Ceph, it means um, you know, MinIO and, and a various other ones that you can use to store your backups. So that also means that you can select a backup target and backup your application such that it can be restored to an entirely different Portworx and Kubernetes cluster. So let's say that I want to uh, restore my applications and data to a cluster on-prem or in AWS. We go ahead and just reference the backup uh, within PX Backup and target the other Kubernetes cluster. So your entire application including objects such as services, secrets, and data can be restored to a completely different Kubernetes cluster. And this is really um, crucial in the sense that you may not have the original cluster to restore to, right? If it's, you know, years have passed and you need to kind of rehydrate the data and application uh, for various reasons, this is one way to recover and keep that retention. So overall, this is the overview of PX Backup, how it gets installed with the central management plane and, and management cluster, and how it reaches out and to multiple clusters and can backup at the namespace level, application level, object level, and restore to uh, namespaces and other clusters on various types of infrastructure. So hopefully that gives you a general sense PX backup. I'll put some descriptions and links in the um, below this video, as well as um, where you can find out more to test it, try it and learn. So until next time, take care.